part four is all about the freedom. It's all about managing the freedom and the freedom comes with money. We're so excited to share our four part framework for every single business we have ever done that helps us get to success. So each video will have a different part. Make sure you stay tuned and watch them all. Making money and managing it are two different things. Just like in business, if you don't have a plan, you're winging it and results aren't gonna be stable, repeatable, consistent. So having a healthy relationship and healthy habits with your money is gonna be the biggest asset for your business's ability to stay alive and to thrive for decades. I can't tell you how many times I've worked with clients who have multi-million dollar revenue in their agency. Let's say again, multi-million dollar revenue in their agency or other businesses and in other industries that have millions of dollars, almost eight, nine figures of money or profit coming in who are on the verge of bankruptcy, right? How can you be on the verge of bankruptcy when you have that much money coming into your business? Because they don't know how to manage money. They don't understand what it's like to have a healthy relationship, to have healthy habits. They don't spend time with their money. So you have to make a non-negotiable time that you spend with your money regularly in order to ensure you always know what's happening and that you can make those real-time adjustments. Just like when we're tracking everything else in our business, we have to spend time to track and pay attention to what's happening with our money. Everything we do in our business is about profit. Profit's gonna buy us time freedom. And if you spend the least amount of time in your business with your money, you're working backwards. It's the most crucial part of this framework, right? You probably thought the first one was the most important and the second one and the third. No, money comes first. However, you need all four parts to have um, real success. So down to your 10 year goals and the revenue that you wanna achieve, it all boils down to having time and financial freedom and that all starts with your money. So with money, you can buy freedom with your time and you're able to have options and choices for your family, for your team, for your community. You get to give back, you get to have more impact. You get to show up like me today and talk to all of you when I don't have to. How amazing is that, that I get to do what I really love to do whenever I want. So without the proper plan, it won't matter how much comes in the top line if you don't make sure to manage and plan for the bottom line. We want a profitable business, not just to create jobs for ourselves where we can find ourselves sometimes making less money than our team. How many of you are making less money than some of your sales team members now? So we made it a point in our finances to go into our finances and start redoing everything. And we were on a mission to find profit wherever we could. And when we realized the things that were making us money, the income producing activities, that's when things really started to change. We realized if we niched down, we were fishing in a smaller pond with bigger fish. The business revenue means nothing. I know a lot of people say, hey, you know, I generated $100,000. I even said I generated $40 million in revenue. How much did actually of that money go into my pocket? I'm not going to tell you, but that's what matters. If you're in the online space at all, you might hear people talking about making $100,000. How many of those actually pocket $100,000? It doesn't matter. I don't care how much you generate in your agency. I care about how much do you take home. So instead, we became more obsessed and more excited about the bottom line. So this makes you more conscious about where you're spending. Stop making uncalculated decisions. You get to stick to a plan. You are prepared for things and you're able to finally be happy with the results because you know where you stand and you know where you're headed. So we built our business money plan with our vision in mind, our core values in mind, our goals in mind. And we created the plan, which is the strategy and the planning process, even for our money, because it helped us get good at making money, but it helped us get good at making more money and keeping money and making it over and over and over again consistently. I have a question for you. For those of you that have a team or you're thinking about building a team or anything like that, is your team climbing your 10-year plan or their own through your company? The reason I ask this question, and I luckily can say that my team is climbing their own 10-year plan within my company. In 2020, every single team member I have had a dream about buying a home. Every single one was renting their homes and where they were living. In 2020, every single one bought their first home. And now I ask them constantly and we work together on what their goals are in their life and their new money goals 
because I know that if I can show them how they can get those with my business by bringing in the results that they need to bring and doing the IPAs at a high level with efficiency, that they get to build a life they find fulfilling. Because who am I as a leader to say, I wanna build a fulfilled, fulfilling life and not do the same for the people that are helping me get that life? That's not cool. So by making it your mission for you as your business leader to do the same thing for your team, it's super important. This is how you grow a loyal and strong team that's gonna care about your business just as much as you do. And they're also going to care about your business even when you're not there. Here we go. This is the framework. I gave it to you. There it is. This is the framework I use to build five businesses in different industries generating over $40 million in revenue all by myself and well with my team, of course, but I started it. But I used this framework with every single business that I started. I started in insurance. And because I was able to build that agency and get that stable, structured, residual income, I was able to move on and do other things in my life that generated me revenue. When I started in the entrepreneurship world, I knew that I was going to be the type of entrepreneur that with each venture, my goal was to make myself obsolete. My goal was to remove myself as a piece of the equation. And this is the framework you need to be able to get there. It will not happen tomorrow, but it could happen much faster than you think. Always thinking about my, my vision and my 10-year goals, knowing what my intention was, planned the strategy and showed up for the execution. So I got the results every time. Now I have exactly what I want. I have the choice. I have the options to work when I want, when I want, how I want, with who I want, as much as I want. By the way, that's my why. And I can do it at any given moment whenever I want. And I can say that proudly, we have financial freedom while we're growing our assets and income yearly. So some of this may have sounded simple that we talked about, common sense-ish, if you will. But the point is, is that you need to design your business for you. You need to design your business to do what it is that you want for your life and have the purpose for your team and your community and your clients. And it's about looking at it, like building like the building of each piece of the puzzle so that you're creating the bigger picture that makes the business become self-sustaining and scalable. So I ask of all of you after this, if you could work on this framework for you and your business in the next six months, like really commit to stepping up and doing the work on the front end so that you can ensure your success, what would be your next level when your business can run itself and continue to grow without you? How about a four week vacation? <laughs> this is my challenge to you is that I want you to take this framework, go be a doer. Do not have wasted, I don't know what time it is, let me see, an hour of your time of learning all of this and not do anything with it. Start with part one, move to part two, go to part three and work on part four and take your four week vacation and give your business the ultimate test. Can you step away? If you guys want to get in touch with me for any reason, you have other questions, those are my handles on the different platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and um, YouTube.